Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a updated makeup routine video. I think I've done like maybe two or three makeup videos on here, but it's been a while since I've done one. I've been meaning to actually do this for a while, but I'm a procrastinator. I'm gonna be doing an updated makeup routine and I'm also gonna be doing hair. So it's kind of like a get ready with me. Get this pimple. What do I wanna start with? What do I want to start with? I think I want to start with my hair because this video is sponsored by Julia Hair. I know you guys are probably tired of all the hair videos, but I have something to say about that. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk a little bit about it as I do my hair. I installed this wig like days ago. And it was like a rush install because I was doing it before I had to get ready to go to work. And I don't know why I did that because that was just not a good idea because I was rushing. I did not cut it as short as I wanted to go. I don't want to cut it shorter. Kind of want to cut it shorter. But I need a bag and I need my scissors. So I'm going to cut this a little bit. Um, But first I wanted to talk about. Okay, if you guys see any lace. <laughs> I just told y'all that um, this was a rush job. So just, just ignore it. We all have our days where our lace is like sticking up and very noticeable. Let me tell you guys about the hair first. So this is from Julia Hair. I believe they sent me a 16 inch wig, but I did cut it because that was my plan anyways. Anytime I plan on getting hair and I know I'm gonna cut it, I get the hair longer intentionally so that I can cut it to my length. So if I wanna do like a shoulder length cut, I'll order like 16 inches to make sure it's full in the spot that I wanna cut it. And so yeah, if that makes sense. So they sent me a 16 inch wig. It's so um, soft. I feel like I said that about all the hair. Well, it actually feels like it could be my real hair. It's not super silky, but it has like slip to it. And it doesn't, it's not super shiny either, which I like because it looks like it could be my real hair. And I did dye it black. I used some dark and lovely dye, I believe. And it got this hair so black. Normally I use Garnier, the green box. And I feel like it does not get the hair super black. It just looks brown, like a dark, dark brown to me. Cause like in the sunlight, you can see the, the brown. But this, this got my hair super black. And I was thinking like, maybe black hair does not look good on me. Cause it was so intense at first. Concentrate, cut this real quick. I feel like I'm gonna go. That's good enough. That's where I'm gonna stop at. Okay, so I feel like I need to hot comb it a little bit. So what I wanted to say is probably about to stop doing hair videos. Um, I don't even want to say as much because I I don't really upload enough to say that. But I feel like every hair, every video that I've uploaded has been related to hair. And I think I'm kind of over it. I think I'm over doing hair videos. When I started this channel, my intentions were not to be a hair channel. Um, I wanted to do vlogging type stuff. A um, little bit of makeup here and there, a little bit of hair here and there, but mainly, oh shoot, I almost burnt myself. Mainly I wanted to do like lifestyle and vlogging 
Now, I've done makeup and hair. I've yet to do a vlog. And that's honestly because I just don't know what to vlog because I don't do much. I go to work. I come home. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could find stuff to do, but what is there really to do right now? With corona going around and all of that. Like, what, what honestly can I record me doing? Because I don't need to shop. I don't shop for stuff here. I online shop. So, I mean, like, I don't know. Maybe you guys can help me out with some suggestions on what I could vlog. Because I just, I just need help. I'm honestly not motivated to film when it's related to hair. There's a collaboration that I agreed to do with this hair company. And, um, when it was time... Let's say okay, I I can't talk. There was a collaboration that I agreed to do with this company and that was at like the beginning of June. Um I believe. So I had did the hair and everything. I put it on. I, I didn't record it because I was like, okay, I don't I'm tired of doing the whole recording the install. What this jacket is mad annoying. I'm tired of doing the whole record the install process style it you know i'm tired of doing that so i was like okay i'm just gonna do it whenever i put it on maybe i'll style it or something or do a get ready with me or something i put it on and then i think i had reinstalled it like two more times after that still hadn't recorded a video i honestly got to the point where i forgot i had installed it like two more times and then i was like i gotta record this video don't really want to but i have to so i finally sat down to record it one day and it was such a rushed video because it's like i don't want to do it i think i recorded me curling the hair don't know if that video is ever gonna make it to my youtube channel i'm probably gonna have to put the wig on again and do something better because it was such a rushed thing like the video i have all the footage on my camera i'm just not motivated to edit it because i don't like it yeah i'm kind of over the hair the hair side of youtube i'm just over like getting a bunch of emails every day hair companies wanting me to do videos and then it's like i don't i do not agree to every one of them anyone i've done i've been super selective on who i want to work with because a lot of this hair is not good a lot of it's not good um, also I look at their Instagram account and if I see they're using videos and pictures of hair that's, that I know for a fact is not theirs, that's dead. I'm just trying to get it like body. I'm not actually trying to curl it. You know what? This is kind of weird because I'm talking about hair companies and I'm doing a video for hair. I just want to vlog. I want to be a vlogger. Now, will I succeed at vlogging? I don't know. I have to try it first. I love this curling iron. I got it from TJ Maxx for like $19. It's the Hot Tools brand. I have bought a curling iron from Target and it sucked. So I returned it. One of one of those. Is it Babyliss? 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. I wanted one of those. So yeah, I'm probably about to get ready. I'm probably about to stop doing hair videos as much. Oh, am I burning this bottle? Ah, I burnt the bottle. We're gonna come back to the hair. This hair is from Juliet Hair. All of the information on hair be in the description box. You guys can click the link below in the description box if you want to try out the hair. I do recommend it. It's really nice and I like that it's not super shiny. So it looks like I have like a silk press or something, whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know. It just looks really nice. I don't know where all my hair clips are, but so I'm just gonna have to stick this behind my ear. So once again, if you see any lace sticking up, ignore it. So let's get started on my makeup. I had I had all my makeup in a bag from when I went to Dallas. And it's still in the bag. I'm gonna start off by using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. The pink one. I was using the matte one, but I don't know. I don't oh what the fudge. I don't like the way that it uh would make my um like it would like peel off. Like if I rubbed it too much, it would kinda like peel off. I don't know. 
but I'm using the pink one, the original one, today. Do I want to just name everything or do I want to just put it in the description box? I'm just going to put everything in the description box because I kind of don't want to say everything that I'm using, but I might end up doing it anyways intentionally. I just put this one on my nose because this one is like mad and it keeps my nose from getting super uh i need to warm it up you're supposed to take it and like rub it between your fingers and then pat it but it keeps my nose from getting so oily because my, my nose is literally an oil sleek and i kind of take it and put it on my brows a little bit because my brows get a little oily as well i'm gonna tell you guys a story before i ate my apples about how this hair company reached out to work with me and they ended up sending me the wrong wig and still wanted me to do the video. And I was just like, no. Basically, um, this company that I had saw a girl working with on a YouTube video had reached out to me. And I was really excited to work with them because um, she was talking about how good their lace was and stuff. And I was just like, okay, well, I want to work with them. And it was like a day after I saw that they... I don't like when they message me on Instagram because my my email is in my Instagram thing, a little link that you can click. They had messaged me on there and I had messaged them back. And so they were wanting me to try some wig, I think. And it seems like ever since my video with my Bob wig was like, I wouldn't say viral, but it's kind of popular. Every company wants me to do a Bob wig and I'm just like, I don't want to. They just messaged me a wig and they were like, how about trying this wig or whatever? And it was a pretty blonde wig. I'm going to go in with my um, Born This Way. Oh, this is new. This is something new. So the last time I did my makeup on here, I think I was using either NARS or Maybelline. I'm using Too Faced now, the Born This Way in the color Chai. Wig was really pretty and I was excited to try it because I'm like, mm, blonde hair. It wasn't like blonde, like six. 13 blonde it was like a blonde you would see Alonzo Arnold do like a little blonde bob it wasn't really a bob though it was like 16 inches I believe so it wasn't like technically a bob but first red flag was you can tell when hair companies are using pictures that are not theirs you can tell like you can you can just tell when the when it's not their hair. So I still went with it anyways. Hold on, y'all. I can't talk and blend this in. Y'all, I did not do my eyebrows. <laughs> Wait a minute. I cannot. No, 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 no. Let me do my eyebrows because I cannot do my eyebrows after foundation. I just, I just can't. Like, it's just not, it's just not for me. So, let me do my eyebrows. Oh, my God. I'm still using the same brow product, but back to my story. So, yeah, the wig was cute. I could tell it wasn't their picture. She just went with a natural color wig instead of trying their summer color wig like they wanted me to do. Because I feel like if I'm promoting something, I should be able to promote. When it when it comes to hair, I feel like I should have a say in what I want to promote. Because I'm not about to put no hot red wig on my head. Because I wouldn't do that in real life. And it was it's going to look a mess because I'm not going to like it anyways. About two weeks went by, a week. And they had messaged me because they were like, okay, we have to color the wig first. And then we'll get it shipped out to you. And that was another red flag. I'm like, color the wig. I guess y'all. I mean, I bet. I guess they color wigs sometimes because I don't know. I guess they they know how to color hair. I feel like I've honestly forgotten how to do my brows because I'm struggling right now. I don't wear makeup like I used to because I used to throw it on like every day, multiple times a week. I don't even do it once a week really anymore. This eyebrow looks horrible. I'll tell you that. 
we all just have our bad eyebrow days where our eyebrows just will not come out good for anything you can redo it it's still not gonna come out good i feel like some weeks that went by and i had messaged them and i was like hey is there any update on the tracking because you know they normally they send out a tracking number so you can track it um or whatever i'm like i know we don't take y'all that long to dye some hair but i was giving them a benefit of the doubt i was like maybe they really are gonna do it like do it big so they um <laughs> they had message back i think that same day and they were like oh sorry dear whatever um and they gave me the tracking number and so i tracked it got the hair i was like, super excited to see the amazing dye job they did and y'all when i opened up that box and i saw that wig i knew i knew at that moment i was not doing that video <laughs> because i'm just like there is there's no way i know that the color they sent me would not look good on my skin tone to me so i would not even try to do it i messaged them and i was just like um yeah the wig you sent it it's not it's not the color that you said you were sending um maybe it was dyed wrong or something and i honestly don't feel comfortable promoting this to my subscribers saying that it's this wig but obviously it's not because it's two different colors and so they were like oh it's my fault or whatever i sent the wrong wig um can you tell me if it's this color and they sent me the wig and it was the exact color so she sent me the wrong wig. She was just like, can you just have a try? Can you just, can you just try it and see if, um, see how it works out? I'm like, no. I'm not trying it because I, I just told you, like, do, do you want me to ship it back too? I mean, that may sound a little dramatic, but I'm just like, no, that, that's, I know what looks good on my skin tone and what won't. And there is no way I could make that wig work. Cause it, I've had, a, I've had hair that color before and I feel like I look like peanut butter. I look like peanut butter cookie didn't like it that sucks that i don't get to work with them but i'm not really worried about it anymore because i'm like i said kind of taking a break from hair videos this is why i don't do my makeup anymore because something just always looks off to me something just looks off this is how i do my makeup anytime i do it now i don't do like super fudge my face should get turned i don't do super dramatic makeup anymore y'all wasn't gonna tell me that i didn't blend that Y'all was just not gonna tell me. I think I showed this before. I still use my little Bobbi Brown concealer thing to cover up my bags. Have y'all been keeping up with this Naya? How is her name pronounced? Naya R Riviera? Well, have y'all been keeping keeping up with this? It's kind of it's really creepy, honestly. How how she just like disappeared, like. It's creepy than the, the video of her walking to the boat and she has the bag in her hand and I don't know. I just get chills watching reading about this stuff and how the how her son said he she didn't she went for a swim and didn't come back up. And then there's people saying that there was a jet ski following her boat and everything. It's just it's just scary. And whenever it first came out, it was like two nights ago. I was getting ready to go to bed and I saw the, I think I was on Instagram and I saw a post about it and I was like, what? And I instantly just got like chills down my body, down my spine. It's kind of weird. Like, I'm just like, oh, well, I hope when I wake up in the morning, they say they found her and they still haven't found her. And it's been like two or three days. I'm really hoping that they can find her alive, like somehow, some way, but they're already calling the thing a what is it search and recovery not a rescue anymore it's a recovery at this point because they're she's presumed dead is that the word they're using presumed which is kind of scary honestly let me show you my mustache See 
you guys the other day i swore i was just like prepared like have corona because i don't i don't know what it was but the other day i was just like well i know what it was i i get sinitis so is it sinitis uh, like a sinus infection like once a year like i get um na post nasal drip and stuff like that uh and I had the worst sinus pressure, the worst sinus pressure. And I was just like, oh, it's Corona. I got it, it's Corona. <laughs> it's not funny, but I was just like expecting that because I feel like ever since Corona became a thing, like you can't just be sick anymore. Like you can't just have a cold anymore without thinking it's Corona. So that's what I was thinking. I was prepared to go get tested, get that thing stuck up my nose um, because like my eyes, they were hurting, like they hurt. It was like pain coming from the back of my eyes. And like, this is how I know it was my sinuses because like right here was like throbbing. Like it was like, it was making, whenever you have, whenever I get those, it just makes like the pain radiate across my face. It was making my ears hurt. My, I was going up towards my forehead and my um top lip was hurting. Whenever I press on my face right here was hurting. When I pressed above my eyebrows, it was hurting. And that's like the only thing that was going on. So I had um, took some medicine when I got home, and I had went to sleep early that night. That's how you. That's how I know I don't feel the best is when I go to sleep early, because normally I'm up to like two, three in the morning, just up doing nothing really. But I did get some medicine for sinus pressure. I feel brand new. Like I'll be looking dusty. I need a new powder. I'm still doing my cream contour, so that hasn't changed. Still using this little stick. The key, hold on. The key to my makeup now though is just to be as light as possible. I just don't apply too much product. So just like keep it natural looking. As if people can't tell I have on makeup, but I just try to keep it as natural as possible. I just don't like the look of a lot of makeup anymore. And I feel like that's how a lot of people are right now. Like everyone's just over the whole dramatic makeup look. I'm almost done. This goes by way quicker when I'm not talking, I feel like. I don't know what else to talk about, so I'm just gonna finish off my makeup. I did buy this Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 360 Mocha to um, use whenever I do that under my contour powder thing. It looks a little white sometimes, so I bought this to put some color back into my face. And to just go where I put that Laura Mercier powder, I feel like I look a little uh, light. I did buy a Kylie blush. It's in the color Rosie. Now let me show you guys how misleading this is. Look at the back of the packaging. That's what Rosie's supposed to look like. And when you open it, there's Rosie. Oh wait, maybe it doesn't look. Okay, it looks kind of darker on camera, but it's actually pretty light. It still works though. On my skin, surprisingly, surprisingly. And I do still go on my orange first. I need to get a new one of these. I don't think they sell this palette color anymore. This is the Tanza Deep Anastasia Contour Kit. I don't think they sell this one anymore. It's 
So then just take it in. So yeah, you can see it a little bit. I also got another blush I'm gonna use too. And I love blush, like I just pack it on. I love blush. I don't even care how it looks. I bought this Rimmel London Maxi Blush in the color Wild Card. So I don't use that little um, Maybelline blush anymore. That's something new. I'm gonna take it and put it around my face. So I did have eyelash extensions, but I pulled them all out because I got frustrated one day and just started yanking them out. So I don't have eyelashes anymore. Some Lily Lashes, you guys know. Those are my favorite brand, I feel like y'all know. I bought these, the light lashes, the light meats. So I'm gonna apply these lashes. Okay guys, so I got my lashes put on. I don't know how I feel about them. I thought they were gonna be fluffier than this, but they're not. And I don't know, my eyes kinda look sad. But now I'm just going to line my lips with the same old thing I always use, the KKW lip liner. I haven't changed that up any at all. This is a nude too. For lips, I'm going to use this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. My camera's dying. But I think that's gonna be all because I don't really do too much anymore. Fix my little raggedy baby hairs. So yeah guys, that's gonna be it. Um I didn't do too much to the hair because I like the like effortless look that it's giving I, I cut this kind of uneven but yeah my camera's dying so i'm gonna have to go that's all i've been doing to my makeup as of recently whenever i do do it so nothing much yeah if you guys like this hair don't forget to check out julia hair everything will be in the description box below um don't forget to like comment and subscribe on this video we'll see you guys in the next video hope you guys have a great day and yeah bye guys